What's going on, people? To answer that question, we set up a hidden... This video right here really describes Americans, and it really describes cop apo police apologists. The people who say... They risk their lives for you, even though roofers and garbage men are more dangerous jobs. The people who say they're so brave, even though they gang up on, on our people. They shoot on our people in the back, in the back of the head. They kill children. They electrocute people. They murder dogs on a daily basis. They raid people in the wee, wee morning hours. You know, these are heroes. Uh, what else they say about police? If you're not doing anything illegal, you got nothing to worry about. These are the good guys. Uh, they risk their lives for us. That's the best one. They risk their lives for us. And so on and so forth. So you're going to see why a lot of people still have that opinion about police. And you're going to see why in this video. And I'm not going to talk very much. To answer that question, we set up a hidden camera experiment to see if this woman would stand up at the sound of this tone simply because everyone else is. You might be thinking you'd never go along with this. Or would you? After just three beeps, and without knowing why she's doing it, this woman is now conforming perfectly to the group. But what happens if we take the group away? Elaine, please. Okay, now she's alone, the crowd is gone, and nobody is watching her, except our hidden cameras. What do you think she'll do? She's now conforming to the rules of the group without them even being there. Now, watch what happens when we introduce another outsider who doesn't know the rules. Have a seat and they'll be out in just a couple minutes. Great, thanks. thanks so much. Think she'll teach the new guy what to do? We kept the cameras rolling as more unsuspecting patients arrived. And slowly but surely, what began as a random rule for this woman has now become the social norm for everyone in this waiting room. Here to explain what's going on in their brains is Jonah Berger of the University of Pennsylvania. This sort of internalized form of herd behavior is part of what we call social learning. Starting at a very early age, when we see members of our group perform a task, our brains literally reward us for following in their footsteps. When I saw everybody stand up, I felt like I needed to join them. Otherwise, I'm like excluded. Once I decided to go with it, then I felt much more comfortable. Conformity is how we become socialized, but it can also cause us to develop bad habits or repeat past wrongs. And it's why even this rebel, who wasn't standing for any of this nonsense, eventually joined the ranks. And the only thing more shocking than seeing how easily conformity affects the way you act is that similar forces are subconsciously shaping the way you think right now. So that's that.
Does that sound familiar? All the parrots in the comment sections who say the same things over and over. Same things over and over and over again. It's like, beep, officer safety, beep. They risk their lives every day, beep. Their jobs are hard enough without you trying to exercise your rights, beep. If you got nothing to hide, beep. They can stop you for any reason, beep. What's the big deal about surrendering your Fourth Amendment, beep. And they all stand up. I was rooting for the guy at the end. I wish I got caught in this experiment. I really did. I would be like sitting there like, I probably say, is this a psych ward? I go up to the clerk and say, is this a psych ward? <coughs> All right, there you go. And that's how it works. <laughs> yeah, here's another good one. This guy sends me good stuff. Truth seeker. Let's do a 35-year background check on every member of the Senate and Congress and then see who's left standing. That's probably a Brett Kavanaugh reference, but even without the Brett Kavanaugh, seriously, I think there was a guy in Jersey who did it. He was like reading off a list of a bunch of people that had DUIs and owed money and sexual assaults. And he's like, these people are, <laughs> at the end of the video, he says, these are the just the members of Congress. All right, thanks for watching. Subscribe, join, thumbs up, click the bell. Uh, John's Coin Rings on Etsy. Patreon, all that good stuff. Mixer, John Felix on Mixer. If you want to watch me play free Xbox games live and play them horribly, hey, for all you haters, you can get on Mixer and tell me to go F myself. All right, see you, bye.